<laughs> why is this chapter and why has the past two chapters been about fucking good and dead? And really? <laughs> I don't like it. I honestly don't. Like, this is the part I'm fucking needs to go. I think this. I think this, little readers. This is the Descent to Darkness. I genuinely think this is the Descent to Darkness to me with Nizel Koi, because I, I, I... Yes, I am calling it Nizel Koi, fuck it, because it's like, this isn't the same fucking story that I came to, you know, read and enjoy, and it's like, why, for an entire... Which I can pretty much sum up in, like, a minute or two. Maybe three. I can, we're, we're going with it. Like... This entire chapter was just like, oh, why is Unadera participating? Like, why is she here? And it's just like, oh, Rui. It's like, it's just fucking, like, bride's fucking shoe. And saying, yeah, you want more pussy on the floor? Then, you know, and you want them to dress up? Then, yeah, you're going to have to let Unadera in here. And it's like, why? Why am I saying this? I fucking despise Unadera. I don't give a fuck about it. She's, like, one of the worst girls. And not to mention, you got one that's worse by her. Her fucking sister! And I'm like, why are these two competing for one another? And it's like, both of them get like first place. And it's like, which this, honestly, this whole thing should have fucking ended. I don't even care. I would have fucking preferred if Rui won it instead. Fuck it. That these two are now got to have like it since they got the same amount of votes and all that because a lot of people apparently like too fat, a lot too hard, which. How? Like, um, they're now both got both entrances, and it's the same stuff as we had last time. They're now about to have another dress off, and it was like, oh, Hara's like, I'm gonna probably drop out of the pageant because, you know, it's my sister, and to think, you know, oh, like, a senpai will notice me, and it's like, you try to give up on Raku earlier, and it's like, for the past two other chapters, and it's like, don't bring him back, let's just reverse fucking character development. That's just making it worse for her. And it's like, if they do do, like, a season two of the anime, which they probably will, and I know one of the big things that they're going to have is, like, the, like, new main characters, like, they're going to have, for, like, a key visual of, like, season two. They're going to have her. They're going to have Paula. They're going to have Yui. They're going to have, like, all these girls here, and it's like, please, at least, skip this material, because I know season two is going to have some really good bits to it, but if we had chapters like this that are animated, like, do this as an OVA. That's it. Do it as an OVA. I just don't give a fuck. I honestly, I, it's it's hard for me to really talk about this chapter when it's, like, the same stuff that I've been literally seeing from the same characters, just in a different situation. And I guess that's a way that you can pretty much guess Nisako as a whole, or even pretty much the whole harem genre. Whenever you got a character that's pretty much, like, Quick, got clean, simple. That's that's who they are. That's how they act. Then you just have them in a certain situation, and it's just like when I'm looking at this, it's like I don't care. Like it was just mainly fan service of you know the Unadera and Haru fans, which the Haru fans don't even fucking get anything because we don't see it until next chapter. And it's like oh, we see Unadera in a sailor uniform. If I want to see a sailor uniform, I'll watch fucking fighting by evil by moonlight. And making lovers by daylight, you know, I'll watch Sailor Moon. Like, I, I've not news or quite. They have, they have it enough as it is, and it's like how the chapter ends is like, oh, this big suspense. What is Haru dressed up as? And you see like fucking Raku with this cheeky fucking grin. It's like, yeah, I fucking love it like that. Don't smile. You've got your so-called girlfriend right next to you, the girl that you genuinely like in front of you. You've got your stalker, Malika, somewhere fucking back there. You've got Sugami, which you want on the side, somewhere at 40 degrees angle. And then you have Yui, who has your secrets. I don't know, she's fucking up in the sky somewhere. Let's fucking just go with that. But it's like, for the amount of shit that this chapter had, it, there was fucking nothing. It was just genuinely fucking nothing. Like... I'm just gonna stop because I've even realised I've gone beyond fucking four minutes. We might go for fucking fuck, people. Like, you yeah, came out as a rant. I don't give a fuck because I just didn't give a fuck about this chapter. And it's like, if next chapter just... Next chapter, I bet you, it's just gonna end this thing. I can just predict it with this fucking, like, amazing fucking psyche I've got that it's just gonna be like that and then her sister's gonna be proud of her and that's gonna be it. And it's like... It just needs to improve as well. I honestly want it to, but it's like, fuck it, I've talked enough. Rating, 
uh, art was fine, bath here and there, uh, two, I'm going to give it like a two to a three, I just didn't care for it this week at all, like same thing as last week, but last week I had a little bit more laughs and I had a little bit more oh, development, but it's just reverse character development at this point, but that's all for me, thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.